Uh, in Times Square, there will be a vigil for Casey Goodson Jr., who was uh, uh, murdered by the uh, Columbus, Ohio uh, Police Department, uh, Officer Jason Mead, uh, who was a 17-year veteran on the police force. Uh, he was uh, working with uh, U.S. Marshal Peter Tobin. Um, Casey was not their target. Casey, Casey, Casey had no involvement with their investigation or anything. Uh, he was just driving by from the dentist uh, appointment. Um, stopped at a uh, subway to grab a couple of sandwiches for his family. Um, had the keys in the door. Had the keys in the door and was shot in the back three times. Uh, now in Columbus, Ohio, uh, they do not wear body cams. Uh, they don't have uh, body cameras. Um, so that is going to be a uh, push uh, what the people are demanding. Um, also, uh, 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 the feds have uh, taken on the investigation. Um, the Attorney General from uh, Columbus, from Ohio, stated that they will not will not investigate because the police department um, asked them to uh, join in on the investigation a little too late. Uh, uh, it was about three days after the uh, the killing uh, when the when the Attorney General's office was contacted and asked to investigate so they declined you know at, at that point the uh the crime scene had had already been dismantled man listen i don't know if i have anything profound to say i'm i feel probably the way most of you feel and that is oh, man i'm tired i'm tired and I don't have any, I, I don't know that I have any more um, profound, beautiful words to say, I'm tired, I'm frustrated. I'm anxious all the time. I'm exhausted. I'm sick. Like I'm really, really sick of all the bullshit. I'm raising two black boys and a black girl. And I put a lot of pressure on myself to do my part to change this country before they're six feet tall. I put a lot of pressure on myself to do my part to change this country before my seven and five year old boys are six feet tall black men walking around in this country before they get their first driver's license before I have to sit home and wait for them to come home and pray I want them to just go out into the world without me having to pray a special prayer that they will come back home alive. I'm tired. I'm tired because I do not want my sons to be Casey Goodson. I'm tired because I don't want my daughter to be Breonna Taylor. I'm I am tired of going on social media and scrolling through my feed to see black men, children, and women being shot dead. We are leaving Washington Square Park in New York City, marching to Times Square.
Amendment right to speak what you please. Do not let them through. Block that up. It is the right to assemble. Stay seated. It's okay, everybody. It's all right. Yeah, so they didn't want the uh, police to come through. Yeah. 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 So the woman over there, uh, while they were speaking, uh, while they were in the center here, uh, she screams out, all lives matter, uh, and a uh, few people got upset. Well, it made me upset because I was racially profiled 12 years ago during the Obama election. Well, okay, she's with it. She's with it. She's okay. I was racially profiled 12 years ago down south when I used to live in North Carolina. Which is a Republican town, Wilmington, to North Carolina, Re Republican disgusting. town. The guy came up to me with Confederate flag. You know what he told me? He said he he was that niggas like me, President Obama, and other 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 niggas never existed. He said that. Wow. That that really got me upset. And not only are we holding space, but look at the eyes we have on us. We're raising awareness. Because everyone should know his name. Everyone should know what happened to him. Say his name. Casey Goodson. 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 Ain't no justice in this town. Ain't 